Today we'll be taking the high speed train across Japan from Osaka to Tokyo in just under 3 hours. We'll be on the Nozomi Shinkansen, one of Japan's fastest bullet trains. And what's more, we'll be making the journey not just in the regular seats, but in the green class seats, which are the equivalent of first class here on the Shinkansen trains. So without further ado, let's head to Shin Osaka Station to buy our tickets. Japan's train system makes it exceedingly easy to buy your own tickets. You can either go to the counter to buy your tickets from a station attendant, or use one of these machines to buy the exact ticket that you need. In our case, we'd be buying two tickets on the Osaka to Tokyo routes on the Nozomi Shinkansen train. In total, the tickets were about 19,500 yen per person, which is about 130 US dollars. We've gotten our train tickets. Now it's time for a very important step before starting the train journey, and that's getting some food. Now it's important to note that there's no food served on board this train, so before getting on board, you gotta go find yourself some snacks to nibble on during the journey. Thankfully, this being a Japanese train station, there's no shortage of snacks and sushi to choose from. We got ourselves a couple of snacks as well as a few onigiris from the 7-Eleven, and then I stopped by to get myself a sushi box to eat later on on the train. And pretty soon, it was time to head upstairs to the platform where our train was just about pulling into the station. We'd be on the Nozomi train number 38 tonight, a 5.09pm departure bound for Tokyo. And pretty soon, our train was here. We were assigned seats in the train number 8, and we soon made our way on board. Now, green class on the Shinkansen is a relatively comfortable affair. You've got nice carpets throughout the cabin, as well as a 2-2 seating configuration throughout. The seats are wider and more spacious than what you'll find in regular economy class, with more features for comfort and productivity as well. And at the top, you've got a luggage rack to store your carry-on bags and your personal belongings, although any larger items have to go into a dedicated storage area near the back of the cabin. We soon settled in for the two and a half hour ride over to Tokyo and let's take a look around the seat features. Directly in front of you, you've got a leg rest that you can comfortably maneuver into the right position. And between you and your seatmates, there's a shared armrest as well as a surface space for putting some small drinks. Underneath that, a set of buttons are used to control the lighting as well as the seat warmer that actually makes your seat quite snugly. And on the opposite armrest, you've got the all-important seat recline feature that puts your seat back at quite a significant angle. And this armrest also contains a miniature tray table that can be folded outwards for a little bit more surface space. But if you want the biggest surface, to put your stuff, you're gonna have to pull down the tray table from out in front of you and slide it closer into place. If you're seated in the windows, you can pull the blinds down, although personally, I prefer to look out at the views as we're speeding past at 300 kilometers an hour. And lastly, there's a coat hook that's readily available to hang your garments. Okay, this is green class, so we are supposed to be quiet after all, but I think I'm going to eat some food and then do some work and then take a nap. Now, if I'm being honest, I ended up taking a nap first before waking up with a little bit more of the train journey left to go until we arrived in Tokyo. But there was thankfully still time to dig into my sushi box, which I was quite enthusiastic about, but unfortunately on this occasion, the sushi actually didn't taste very good. I'd recommend getting a freshly prepared plate of sushi if you can instead of these pre-prepared boxes, or even better, simply saving your appetite for when you arrive in Tokyo where you definitely can't go wrong. Still, I was feeling pretty hungry after waking up from my nap so I did appreciate having some food to nibble on because after all they don't serve food on either economy class or green class here on the Shinkansen trains. Thankfully though, my onigiri was still delicious and I absolutely loved every bite. Now I spent the rest of the time working a little bit on my laptop. And thankfully the Shinkansen provides fast and free Wi-Fi whether you're in green class or economy class. And just before we arrive in Tokyo, I had the chance to go check out the bathrooms, which I was quite curious about. Bathroom shots here on the Shinkansen green class. Little mirror here. Pretty limited in square footage. You got your sink, your toilet. Where's the flush? Right about here, Japanese style. And there's a baby changing thing on this side too. And with that, we pulled into our final destination and stepped off the train, completing our two and a half hour journey on this very fast and convenient Nozomi Shinkansen train between Japan's two largest cities. We're now in the complete maze that is Tokyo Station. We're about to catch our train over to Shinjuku. But again, the magic of the Shinkansen to get here from Osaka in two and a half hours. If you'd like to check out a different kind of Japanese magic, check out this video right here for ANA Business Class. I'll see you over in that video, but for now, more adventures in Tokyo.